All right, YouTube. Hope you guys been out there building shit. So this is a 1989 Ford 7.3 IDI. It's actually a U-Haul, ex-U-Haul, but uh, I'm doing a 1G to 3G alternator swap on this truck. I bought it in the charge light was on when I drove it home, and so I knew that uh, it had an issue with it, but once I read online, this was the most pertinent way to fix it, was doing the 3G alternator swap. So, you can see I already took the alternator out, I figure that's pretty self-explanatory. These wires used to be in a loom up here. I took all that loom off. Okay, so all those wires are loose all the way to the box. This is the voltage regulator box. Okay, there's a green with red wire. Cut that wire. And then you're going to take the lead off here. At that point, well, and unscrew this. At that point, junk all right YouTube so this here is an alternator out of a 93 Ford Taurus this here is the old externally regulated U-Haul uh, alternator the only real issue that I had with uh, getting the pulleys off was actually getting the pulley off of this one I end up using a pickle fork and I stuck it in there and I just pounded until that until that uh thing came off I didn't have troubles with the bolts or none of that like other people said so now let's get to the wiring of this thing once you got the pulley on your correct pulley and everything uh let's look at the wiring and this is how I did mine I'm not gonna say it's right wrong whatever uh, okay, you got a three, three wire plug here. The white one jumps over to the alternator itself. The yellow one used to go into the wiring harness, but I jumped it straight over to the power because that'll give it power. That'll give it a little bit of power that it needs to produce power. It's kind of like a remote, uh, on for an amp or something is kind of how I look at it. So that'll give it a little power to turn it on. Then uh, this goes into a mega fuse. You can see this this line is black and that one's red. The reason being is because I could have spent ten dollars per wire, or I just spent ten bucks for both wires and it was enough. And then I got a 175 amp mega fuse here in the middle that I'm going to bolt to the firewall, and then this just goes back up to the solenoid. And this wire here, the green with red, I found this uh, matching one in a motorcycle wiring harness. But it's going to go back to the wire in the truck. So basically it's two wire hookup. Simple. Till next time, keep building shit. Alright YouTube, hope you guys have been out there building shit. So there's the 93 Ford Taurus 3G alternator with the 7.3 IDI pulley all put in this uh, 89 7.3 IDI truck and the way that I showed you guys to wire it you only need this wire which comes down here to the cut harness and then the 4 gauge wire charge wire with the 175 amp mega fuse up to your solenoid so it's basically a two wire hookup that's all this job is so till next time believe in yourself know that you can do this project to keep building shit all right youtube hope you guys are out there building shit uh my truck now is charging it like 14 and a half volts something like that so i know i got plenty of Plenty of power to charge my dual batteries, start that diesel, run lights, run different things. As I said, it's a U-Haul truck, so I'm sure that I'm going to hook up uh, some power tools and different things at different points in its life. Uh, it's just kind of a carry-all, do-all truck for me and the workshop so that we can keep on building shit.
hauling motorcycles and doing so uh, the other thing I wanted to say just in conclusion of this video you guys can do it cheaper if you go and find a Crown Vic or a Grand Marquis wiring harness you can just it's basically a, a, a direct swap but uh I struggled to find one of those the ones that I did find were already cut in the junkyards and so I, I just ended up spending I think it came to about 40 40 45 dollars on those wires and the correct fuse and the fuse holder and at that point I figured heck I've only got about 70 dollars into a 3g high amp alternator and the wiring and everything so 70 bucks for a new alternator on on that old truck and the amount of power that I'm getting out of it I'm not going to complain. Until next time, keep building shit.